In this video, we will solve a real world problem. Here in my HTML file, I have a list and a button. So here is what we need to do. When we click on this button, we will add new items to this list. The items that we will add are found in an array. Let's move to the JavaScript file and here is the array. For each element in this array, we will create a new list item, change its text to the value of the current list item, then we append the list item created to the list. So pause the video and try to solve this problem. And now we will do it together. First, I will select the list. Then let's console log it to check if we have it or not. Great, it is working. Then let's select the button. And let's console log the button. Great. So the next step we need to do is to attach an event listener to this button. So btn dot add event listener we listen for the click event and we add a callback. Let's simply console log clicked. Great, it works. So we are almost there. Now we need to loop through this array and for each item in this array, we need to create a new ally. Then we need to give the value of the array item to that new list item. Then we append the new list item to the list. So let's loop through this array. I will use the for each method. And here, let's create a new element for each iteration. I will do it using the document dot create element. Let's console log the element. Now when we click on this button, four list items are created. If our array has five items, five list items will be created. Great. So we are almost there. Now let's assign the value of the array item to each list item using the inner text property. So ally.inner text and I will give it the value of the element. So great, we have item one, item two, item three, item four, and item five. If we had a different value here in the first item of this array, the first list item created would have a different value, that value. Great. Let's add back item one. And now we just need to append these elements created to the list. So let's do it. And now when we click on this button, the DOM gets updated. Great.